new song every week? Then subscribe now. Welcome to Video Gun. In the last session, we learned something about articles, the definite article and the indefinite article. Today, we will learn something about tenses. When I say tenses, I mean the time. Tense in Latin means time. Now, basically, there are three types of tenses. Present tense, past tense and the future tense. Now, this is further divided into four types. Let us go one by one. Now, we shall learn the present tense. And in present tense, the simple present tense. We use the simple present to talk about actions that are taking place in the present time in the present time now he plays hockey i look at him no this is what is happening now and we use it for things that happen in the nature all the time the sun rises in the east we use it for natural truths honey is sweet well, we talk about habits. I go for a walk every day in the morning. He prays God every day. So we use the simple present tense to talk about practices, habits and routines. And it is also used when a running commentary is given. And all proverbs are put in the simple present tense and all laws scientific or otherwise are put in the simple present tense action and reaction are equal and opposite this is done because it is true for all time now all that glitters is not gold it's a proverb proverbs are always put in the simple present tense now the next is present continuous tense. When an action is going on continuously in the present, we use the present continuous tense. I am teaching grammar. You are listening to me. Please note that there is an auxiliary verb and the verb that you use has an ing with it. This is true at all times. You must use the auxiliary verb whenever you use the continuous tense and it is followed by the verb with ing added to it. Now coming to past continuous tense, we talk about an action which was going on in the past. It was raining heavily yesterday. My mother was cooking last evening. We refer to the past but a continuous action. Then you have the present perfect tense. Now this is a very important tense. Here there is a blend of the past and the present. An action which has begun sometime in the past and probably got over just now. I have read this book. She has just finished her work. Well, have you seen Mumbai? Yes, I have seen. When? It could be any time. It could be when you were a child or it could be just this morning. Now, the important thing to remember in present perfect tense is that you never mention the exact time. You should not say, I have seen him yesterday. You must say, I saw him yesterday. But you can very well say, I have seen him before. I have seen him long back. Now, this is what you should remember about the present perfect times and it is a combination of the present and the past. Next, we will go on to the past tense. Thank you.